So Tony Abbott has entered the world of diplomacy much as he entered the boxing ring. No planning, no subtlety, just a windmill of total aggression, never taking a backward step. And, although it worked in the boxing ring and it worked pretty well in opposition, it hasn't worked so well when confronting Indonesia. And for that matter, it hasn't even worked so well on the smaller stage of Sri Lanka, where Abbott's efforts have been rejected by just about everybody except the Sri Lankans themselves. The Commonwealth Heads of Government Conference at Sri Lanka was always a controversial affair. India and Canada had both pulled out of it on the grounds that Sri Lanka had not only committed atrocities during their civil war against the Tamils, but the atrocities were still going on. And even the English Prime Minister, David Cameron, had his reservations. He wanted to set up an inquiry to see whether the atrocities had in fact stopped. But Abbott would have none of it. And since one voice is sufficient to veto any proposal in COAG, that was it. No inquiry. And Abbott went further. He praised the Sri Lankans for getting back to normal, for restoring democracy, and handed over a couple of Australian patrol boats so they could go on being even more democratic, particularly when it came to asylum seekers seeking to leave their shores. And just in case people hadn't got the message, in his fulsome, and we mean fulsome in its correct way, praise for the Island Republic, Tony Abbott took, came to the subject of torture. My government, he said, always deplores torture, but, but we accept that there are difficult times, difficult things happen. Very reassuring, Tony. We totally reject torture, except when we don't. We would never condone torture, except when we do. Very, very helpful. It's a bit reminiscent of the George W. Bush approach to torture, when during the Iraq war, the American troops were accused of torturing their opponents. George W. Bush explained that this wasn't happening. Americans, he said, do not torture. So that fixed it. If the Americans were doing it, it wasn't torture. By definition, it couldn't have been torture. Well, even that had a subtlety which Abbott's me message seems to be lacking at the moment. So God knows where it's all going to end up, but Australia is going well to resume the pariah status that held for so long under Abbott's mentor, John Howard. Thanks, Tony. Get back to the boxing ring. I'm Mungo McCallum.